What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm making a video other than my scheduling right now because uh, yesterday I hit 100 subscribers so I promised a 100 subscriber giveaway and um, I've got a pretty cool freaking idea. So uh, thank y'all so much for 100 subscribers. I know it's not a lot but uh, it's still pretty cool. So um, I figured it's a nice milestone to do a giveaway and uh, I am, well, this is what I'm giving away is a whole entire set of Detective Pikachu and I'll, I'll show you, you know, I, I'll give you the rundown when I turn the camera around but uh, it'll be the whole set, all 1 through 18 cards so that's pretty cool and uh, three GX cards, I don't really want to show the front of them because it'll kind of ruin the surprise but uh, I will do this and uh, one is a Rainbow Rare so there is a Rainbow Rare in there and then there the other ones are two GX's also so um, it's cool though so, and I wanted to do this to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Uh, I really appreciate y'all for watching the content. Um, if you hear a fan in the background, it's because my air conditioner broke. Uh, I, I don't know how. It's like everything's falling apart. I'm deciding to move into a different place. And um, right as like a month before I start moving, everything's falling to, to crap. So, uh, no air conditioning, uh, furniture leaving the house, and I have minimal stuff to deal with. So, uh, new house new setup it'll be really cool so um but uh anyway i don't know how much more i have left to say so uh thank y'all so much we'll turn the camera on and i do have an opening it will be detective pikachu i know some of y'all don't like detective pikachu it doesn't get that many views but since i'm giving away a whole set i figured hey why not i'll open up some detective pikachu products and i've actually had this for like three months so it's a it's a long time coming but we will turn the camera around and i will let y'all see some more stuff What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back. Just like I said on the other side of the camera, this is what I'll be opening. Detective Pikachu 10. I think it's got like seven packs or something like that of Detective Pikachu and two other packs which are like Guardians Rising and some or other. Uh, I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I've actually opened one of these. Uh, this will be my second one opening, but I've never opened one on camera. And uh, this will be the set that I'm giving away. Uh, this is actually my personal master set. Um, it's got the promos and some promos you can only get at the store or whatever. And um, here are the GX. I, I'm not giving away the GXs because I got only one of each box. Um, so I, I'm sorry, but I can only do one through 18, which is basically, you know, the whole entire set. Uh, this is all of them, all the ones, whatever, 18 cards. So um, it's just a way to say thank you so much. And uh, I will be giving away some GX cards. Uh, Y'all have already seen one of them. One of them is Latios and Latios GX, which is a really cool card. It's one of my favorite tag team cards from Team Up. So, um, and I got a bunch of them, so I figured why not give one away. There is a Rainbow Rare, and there is another uh, another GX card. So um, that is basically all the information I have. Uh, in order to enter the giveaway, uh, I do have a uh, Instagram now. If you are on Instagram, I will link it somewhere in here, and I'll also link it in the description. I'll put the name up here, though. Uh, or somewhere on the screen and um, you can go follow me It'd be awesome if you would go follow me uh, but the way I'm gonna do the giveaway is kind of different um, I'm going to go through all my comments uh, from my recent probably last month of videos and I'm going to look at the comments and I'm going to take the names of the people on those comments that interacted with me uh, because I really enjoy the interaction and I really enjoy y'all talking to y'all and everything so out of the names of those people I will like write them down or something and I'll shuffle them up or I'll put them inside of a container and pull a person out and uh, I'll do it on camera so uh, y'all can see me do it and uh, that's basically how I will do the giveaway and then whoever wins it I will get in contact with you and we will exchange information uh, and then we will figure out how to send it then but I would preferably like to do it over Instagram if y'all have Instagram um, just go follow me and I can contact you on there it's a lot easier than contacting on YouTube so that is that and then now we will open up this and it's upside down let me just do it upside down i don't have enough camera space right now so um this looks like the packs and then under here we have looks like some pretty cool stickers and then we have a notepad uh, i guess we don't have a pin we just have a notepad and stickers so i guess they were cutting costs and didn't give you a pin to write on the notepad with but anyway that's still cool um, it's just a lunchbox, like a little pail. It's got a uh, pretty cool, you know, brick wall. It's got the signs from a Pope Detective Pikachu movie. Um, it was actually a really cool movie. What do y'all think of it? I mean, I, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, it had a good plot to it. Um, I really hope they make another one or something similar like it. 
Uh, it was the first live-action Pokemon film, and I feel like they did a really good job at executing it and making it, uh, I just said execute, Pokemon pun, um, but making it into a good movie. Uh, there's the coin, Pikachu coin, with this detective hat on. Looks a little cute. And then here is the pin with the hat and the Pikachu ears coming out of it. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. The movie was super cool, and uh, I enjoyed watching it. And I mean, yeah, what, do you, what did y'all think of it? Just I'd like to hear y'all's feedback. It's I'd like to see what y'all think. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Detective, Pikachu packs, a Crimson Invasion, and a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. I was really hoping we would get Burning Shadows, but um, such is life. Still have yet to pull that Rainbow Rare Charizard out of Burning Shadows. I pulled it twice out of Unbroken Bonds, but Burning Shadows, man, it's hard to get that damn thing. I don't know why. It's just the pull ratio is terrible. I don't... There is a code card. Okay, I'll give you all the code cards towards the end. Uh, the ones that I want the most out of this opening right here would probably be Mr. Mime and Greninja, because I have the least of those. We have a Bulbasaur, a uh, Lickitung. Every single card is hollow, and the packs are four card packs. Snubble... And a Detective Pikachu right off rip. There we go. So Detective Pikachu is a pretty cool card to get in the set, obviously, because the name of the set is Detective Pikachu. So it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, we will take this and put it to the side. And uh, I guess I can give you all the code cards now. There is the Detective Pikachu code card. And uh, here is another Detective Pikachu code card. So it's pretty nice. And um, the set, I think the cards are worth a decent amount in the set. I'm pretty sure, except the rares are at least. Got a Charmander, a Morlull, and we have an Arcanine. So we have an Arcanine holographic. He looks really cool in the movie, I think. Uh, some of the Pokemon look really, really nice. Um, you know, put into real life, I guess, CGI form. So uh, I thought it was a neat movie. Um, I don't know. I don't think anyone really ragged the movie. I think everyone pretty much liked it. So that's all. But uh, we will start with a Snubble. We have a Psyduck, Charmander, and on the end is a Charizard. So there we go, the big bad baby himself. This card is probably worth the most out of the whole set um, as far as card value goes. I think Greninja is worth a good amount too, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even Detective Pikachu maybe? I don't know. I don't know the, the exact amounts of all the cards, but I think Charizard's worth at least like 10 bucks or so can't really remember. I'd have to look it up, but uh, I'll have them on the screen as always for y'all, and um, we will see. I'm look, really looking for Greninja. That's what I'm looking for in Mr. Mime. Uh, Psyduck and a Slacking. They, he is ugly. He is by far one of the ugliest out of the cards. Now, in the movie, there's more ugly ones. Uh, we're going to go to Crimson Evasion right now, but uh, I mean, the A-Poms, dude. Those A-Poms are fucking hideous. I, at least I thought they were. There's the code card for the Crimson Invasion. Hope y'all get something fantastic. Uh, I didn't open a whole lot of Crimson Invasion in my day. Uh, I mean, I've opened quite a bit. And I know much about the set, but uh, I haven't opened much of it on the channel, I don't think. We have a hakmo -O. I'm going to put these in a different pile, I believe. hakmo -O, Fighting Memory for the Sil Valley. We have a Haunter. Feebas. Cubone. I like the artwork. Shellos. We have a Bunnelby. Houndour, we have Gastrodon as the reverse holographic, and the rare on the end will be a Go-Goat. I, I really don't like Go-Goat, but I mean, it's just an opinion. Opinions are like assholes, and everyone has one, right? Um, I just didn't like him in the, the, when he came out. I think he was an X and Y. He just wasn't very good. I didn't, he wasn't very usable, I guess. Util, utilizing? Usable? I don't know how to say that. There is a Detective Pikachu code card. I hope y'all get something fantastic. I'm sure you can't get anything other than Detective Pikachu cards from the code card, so I don't really know why I said fantastic. But, more or less, and a Ludicolo. I think Ludicolo was pretty cool in the movie, too, as well as Psyduck. Uh, those two were really funny. Um, Ludicolo didn't get a whole lot of screen time like Psyduck did, but um, it was still pretty cool. He worked the coffee shop, and he was like the waiter or whatever. We have a Charmander, a Bulbasaur, a Lickitung, and the rare will be a Greninja. That is what I wanted. Exactly. It was a Greninja. So uh, there we go. We pulled one Greninja so far. And um, to set this off, if we can get a Mr. Mime, that would be great. Uh, Mr. Mime is what I'm looking for now. And uh, I will be completed. So we have on the end is a code card. Well, it's actually on the back. And then we will start off with a magic carp, a Bulbasaur, Lickitung, and do we get a Mr. Mime? It's an Arcanine. Another Arcanine. So, um, 
From the Detective Pikachu, we got Arcanine, Greninja, Ludicolo, Slacking, Charizard, and Arcanine again. So, and a Detective Pikachu. Can't forget Detective Pikachu. That is what the movie is about. All, we all know that. And we will do our last pack, which is Guardians Rising. And let us take this junk out. And then we will uh, pull the code card out from the side because we're gangsters. And uh, usually I, I just don't ever know which way the codes are facing, whether it's like front, back, sideways, backwards, whatever. Uh, but anyway, we got a Beware. We have Brooklet Hill. I think this is coming as a gold card in, uh, what is it? Um, uh, not Unified Minds, but uh, shit. Hidden Fates. Hidden, there we go. We're getting gold cards in Hidden Fates, I believe. A Pet Lil, Helioptile, Tentacool. We have a Stuffle. We have a Whelmer, Reverse Holographic, and the Rare on the end, Force of Last Pack, Magic Baby. We got a Comfy Holographic Rare card. So, I mean, we got two white code cards in the box. We didn't get any uh, GX cards, but that's all right. Um, anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. And remember, this is my 100 subscriber info video. I just wanted to do a little opening with it. And um, remember the details. I'll also put them down in the description. So go read the description for the details. And uh, I will have it all down there. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in a couple days. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all have a fantastic week.